hey collective hey welcome back guys welcome back so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in because i was actually recording and i had to get up so we're just gonna start over i'm just starting fresh okay <clears throat> but i already got the eighth house here okay this is the house of transformation you see a major change this is like a uh, death cards energy death and rebirth okay um this is this could also be about like uh for somebody you might actually be a scorpio or there may be a scorpio in your energy but again this is like you know karma uh sexuality um joint finances here is some type of major shift okay and we see it in gemini information to explain communication somebody could be a gemini i definitely see some type of uh communication coming this communication is gonna bring about some type of change give me some more messages holy spirit for the collective So, so far, we stand a uh, Gemini and Scorpio. All right, we got the 11th house here. This is like uh, the house of like friendships, okay? The house of friendships. So for somebody, you get some communication from a friend or, you know, this is like could be from a club, a, a social group, um, an organization. Somebody might be an Aquarius. Um, You find in some type of harmony with others, okay? Again, for humanity's sake. Give me one more for the collective. Wow, the sun card is here, okay? You know, it's always good to see the sun, baby. <laughs> You can never go wrong uh, with the sun collective. This is vitality. This is, uh, you know, life. This is uh, energy. This is confidence. Um, this is also, you know, ego. But I'm seeing Mars here. The planet of actions, okay? There might be some type of call to action, there may be something that um, you have to do, okay? But let's clarify. Let's clarify first. You're going to get some type of clarity about something. What is this major uh, change in the eighth house? Baby, this is confirmation. There's a major change coming. And not only is this a major change coming, but you getting ready to get some type of clarity. It's some communication you're going to receive. This communication could come from an earth sign or this is just like um, going to come from, uh, this might be somebody in business, okay? Somebody with many resources. What is this uh, communication in Gemini? What is this information in Gemini? Whoa. It's for somebody you got it, it, it's a lot. You you finna get a lot of information about something. That was a lot of cards that literally just came out. You finna get a lot of information. What is this information to explain? What is this communication about?
Wow. Okay. So it stopped here and then it like fell here. Okay. So for some of y'all, this communication is going to be about some type of success or uh, some type of abundance some type of wish fulfillment. Look at both of the cards. There are two swords here. You got some communication coming. It's something you're going to celebrate with the four of wands here. I see some type of celebration. There's something solid, okay? That's on the way to you. Something very solid that you're getting ready to get. What is this in the 11th house? The house of friendships. Finding harmony with others. Uh, again, this don't have to be from uh, an organization, a group, a club, a, a, a social club, or organization. It don't have to. It could be literally from uh, just an individual. Again, this is the house of friendship. So this is also, like I say, about you finding some type of harmony uh, with with someone else. What is this in the eleventh house? This does say your hopes and wishes, okay? Something you've been hoping for. Look, the King of Cups is here. All right, for some of y'all, this communication coming from a Cancer, coming from a water sign. What is the sun card here for the collective, the creation of, the gaining of respect, things brought to life or light? Again, something coming to life or light. You get in some type of clarity. What is this sun card for the collective? Oh, baby, the two of cups is here with the high priestess. For some of y'all, again, the house of friendships, there is a significant person that is entering your life. Is somebody coming in your life that's going to change your life in a major way? What is this Ace of Swords? What is this Ace of Swords? The High Priestess. Wow, this is dope because in the eighth house, it also says here the mysteries of life. Something is a mystery. It's something that you not seeing clear collective, okay, that you finna get clarity on. Something hidden is coming to light. Whatever this is hidden, okay, is again, is bringing forth some type of change. For somebody, you might be getting ready to travel or there might be some type of relocation. Travel or relocation could be at hand. What is the page of swords in Gemini? What is this information? What are these messages for the collective? Baby, the page of swords clarified by the page of swords. You got some communication coming. Ten of cups is here. For some of y'all, this is going to be regarding family, your family life, okay, with this king of cups because... Again, this is you um, coming, you, you finding some type of harmony, okay? Some type of balance with this King of Cups energy. What is the King of Cups in the 11th house? For some of you guys, this is some type of fulfillment. The King of Swords, somebody want to talk. And I'm seeing the Eight of Wands here, okay? Look, King of Wands, a lot of masculine energy. For somebody, you might, um, you might work with, work around men, or again, you might be a part of like 
a, a motorcycle club or that's just an example because i i mean i know there are women motorcycle clubs right but usually when you hear about motorcycle clubs it's a lot of men right you might become uh connected to a group or organization where you are surrounded with a lot of masculine energy what is this two of cups with the sun that was the three of wands ace of cups for some of y'all it's love what is the two of cups with the sun The creation of the nine of pentacles and the king of wands okay again for somebody uh there is a, a significant partnership that you are going to enter into you might be introduced to this uh social group or this social club or this organization right from somebody like okay you might be good friends with a guy right and he may introduce you into this club okay where now you've become a part of whatever organization or social club or social group this is it could also be a family business we did see ten of cups okay There is some type of fulfillment, though, collective. What is this high priestess? Look, the high priestess again. What is this high priestess in the eighth house? What is this major change? What is this? Look, the nine of pentacles again. The nine of pentacles is here twice. For some of y'all, it's something heavy financial that's changing. What is the, whoa. The eight of cups fell on the floor. For somebody, you finna move or you're gonna, you're gonna travel or you're gonna relocate with this eight, eight of cups. You got some communication coming about you traveling or relocating. Travel and relocation is at hand for somebody. What is this King of Swords, uh, King of Cups? I'm seeing the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords here. Hmm. Ace of Cups wanting to come out. What is this Five of Pentacles? Baby, the two of cups and the ten of cups is here. We got the two of cups here also. For somebody, again, there's a significant partnership, okay? There's a significant partnership that you have, you're going to have with somebody, if this was love, love could have came out in the houses or in the planets, but it didn't. I feel like for somebody, again, there's a Cancer and there is a um, Aquarius that you're going to work with. Somebody is, listen, they're going to come, you, you finna get some type of help. That's this major change. For somebody, you finna step into this nine of pinnacle energy, this energy of abundance, okay? You might, your, your, your finances might be tight right now with this five of pinnacles, okay? But you coming into connection with this partnership, right, is gonna change that. Again, this is why travel and relocation is gonna be significant. That's the major change, travel and relocation. This is also the major change, your abundance. You going from the five of pentacles to the nine of pentacles. What is this nine of pentacles with the sun and the two of cups? Look, king of wands. 
page of swords okay a lot of masculine energy for somebody you 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 definitely getting ready to join some type of of of, of club or group or organization or family business for somebody, there could be three people that you work with. It's going to be one person that you work with very closely. And then there could be three other energies that um, masculine energies that you work with. You're going to work close. Or, for, this could be for a masculine. Okay. This message might be for a man. Okay. Or again, it really doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter. It's all energy. But I see a significant partnership. I see a significant, uh, this has to be work. This has to be work. For somebody, I see a significant dynamic here between you and somebody else. But there are a lot of men around whatever this is. Page of Swords here again. Three, page, the Page of Swords is here three times. The page of swords is here three times and we see in three masculine energies. For somebody, you might uh, get a visit from three people. It might be three men that come see you. <laughs> not, I'm not picking up nothing bad, okay? It's just you might work, you might work, uh, get an opportunity. There may be an opportunity in a male-dominated industry, right? And you're going to partner with somebody, there's a significant partnership, but there is, again, the house of friendships. We see in the king of wands, we see in the king of swords, and we got the king of cups. For somebody, you finna partner with a group of men, okay? We got the two of cups here twice. For somebody, you're getting ready to partner with a group of men. You're going to work with men or you're going to work in a male-dominated industry, okay? So hit that thumbs up, guys. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Thank you guys for watching.